Before we look at the question, let's review the relationship between remainders and fractions. So if I take 34 and divide it by 10, I could say that this becomes 3 with a remainder of 4. Right, 10 goes into 30 evenly three times, and then there's, there's four left over before I get to 34. And as a mixed fraction, I could say this thing equals 3 and 4 tenths. So, so where do these numbers come from? Where did I get this 4 and this 10? Well, this 4 in the numerator, well, that's just my remainder. And this, this 10 in the denominator, well, that's the same denominator I started with, the original thing I divided by. All right, on to the question. We are told that when positive integer x, positive integer x is divided by positive integer y, we have a remainder of 9. And we're told that when positive integer x is divided by positive integer y, we get 96.9. One, two. And we're asked for the value of y, for the value of this denominator here, which I guess is analogous to our denominator up here, this 10. So if we're going to make any sense of this remainder, of this 9, I guess what we want is to turn this number, this 96.12, into a mixed fraction like this. So let's do that. 96.12 as a mixed fraction is just 96 and 12 one hundredths. So some progress, now we have a mixed fraction like, like we want, although notice up here that the numerator of the fraction part of our mixed fraction is the remainder. Whereas down here, the numerator part is, is 12, whereas we're told that a remainder is nine, so we don't have a match. So I guess what we wanna do is mess around with this fraction until we have a 9 on top. So let's do that. Let's see. Maybe let's just reduce this thing first to make life easier. I can divide both 12 and 100 by 4. And if I do that, I get 96. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. 100 divided by 4 is 25. So 96 and 3 twenty fifths. And that's kind of nice because it's easy to turn a 3 into the number that we want a 9. I can just multiply top and bottom of this fraction by 3 and that leads to 96 and 3 times 3 is 9 and 25 times 3 is 75. So 96 and 9 75ths and now we are where we want to be. The numerator of this fraction part of the mixed fraction is our remainder just like we had up here, where our numerator was the same as our remainder. And when that was the case, we said our denominator was the same as our original denominator. So that will also be the case down here now. Our denominator of the fraction part of the mixed fraction is the same as our original denominator, the same as this y. In other words, we now know that y equals 75, and 75 shows up in answer choice B.